Hi ho everyone and welcome back to the adventures of Turwinkle the Gnome Mage. Well hi Turwinkle. Salutation. Are you all set for today? Affirmative. Well great. Yeah it's been a while since we've been out in the world actually doing some adventuring and so it's time to get back to work. I know George and Glenn have been waiting patiently for us and so let's get back to it shall we? So let's see what we have in our bags here. Open up our bags and it looks like we're sitting on 641 gold, 96 silver pieces, and 41 copper. We have our cheese, our melon juice, and some health potions here, healing potions. Also got a spongy morale just in case, and a lesser mana potion just in case as well. And plenty of room in our bags for some items, so we are set. So what we're going to do here today is we're going to head back down to Felder's Cove, and we'll hop on. Well, first, let's get George. Well, good morning, George. I know, George, it's been a while. I... 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 I know, George. Yes, we're... we're back. We're... we're I know, George. Yes, we were doing a lot of guild interviews. We met a lot of neat people. And we're... we're back. We're sorry that uh, you didn't get to... Uh, to join us, uh, but we're back now, so we're, we're going to go head out. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk about this later, George. Okay. George is a little upset, but that's okay. Let's hop on Glenn. <laughs> and check our map. And where we, where we are going to go is back to Faldir's Cove. And as you recall, the last time, there was still a quest down there, and we're going to go help finish that off. So... We're going to head out, and we will see you folks when we get there. All right, and here we are at Faldir's Cove. And as you can see down there, Captain Steelgut has a quest waiting for us, so we'll hop off Glen. Thank you, Glen. And we'll cruise on down here and see what he's got for us. So, George, why don't you go stand right over there, and we'll talk to Captain Steel Steelgut. Talk to me. I will. T <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, I. Oh. I. I was gonna say something funny, but uh, he's upset here. Okay. Uh, drowned sorrows. Arg. Tis a horrible life. I should be in a watery grave right now, not sitting here, by the fire, breathing fresh air. The crew tried so hard to save my beautiful maiden's follies. Bless the boys. Bless their hearts. O'Brien made it to shore safely, but we weren't so lucky. The seas just sank on us, I swear. One second we're afloat, and the next the water's rushing in. And those beasts killed all the survivors, horrible Naga scum. I went, ba I went black and ended up here saved. I want those beasts dead. So our quest objective here is Captain Steelgut in Feldair's Cove wants you to kill ten dagger spine raiders and three dagger spine sorceresses. Sisses. <laughs> Okay, so our reward, be able to choose one of these reward, is Folly Spar. Alright, let's see what we got here. This is a two-handed item. Now see, the thing with the two-handed item is, it's yes, it does more damage per second. It has, looks like, more intellect than both of my items, but, oh boy, I don't know. Let's see, we have plus six intellect and with our two items combined and plus three stamina. Now the, the spar then would be one less intellect, it would be two more stamina and it would be five more critical hit. Uh, so we may not want that, we may not want folly spar. There's also steel guts vest which is a leather vest and maiden tatters, tattered sails. And we'd lose five intellect for that as well. So, let us accept the quest. We'll also receive uh, 25 silver. So let us accept this quest. Oh, he gave us the... Nice, he gave us the Blackwater Boon again, so we can swim into water, George. So follow me, George. We got more of those Nagas to kill. We'll slip in the water right here. Boy, look at that. That is such fast swimming. Nice. 
Sounds like there's some fighting going on above there. But we're going to have to kill these guys down here. And I think that's his ship over there. The one that sank. The ma Maiden's Folly. Alright, where are you, Naga? Ah. Aha. Do a little side stroke there. Okay. Let's get him, George. But bam! And you know what we forgot? Oh, jeez. Bam! We forgot to show up. Well, just in... Oh, no. We didn't get it up in time. Didn't get it up in time. But bam! And... Ba bam! Nope. Get him, George. <laughs> uh, Got to remember to put up our shield before we draw... And those... Our frost bolts don't seem to slow these guys down. Not at all. Bam! Look at that. Ba bam! And ba bam! One more time. Bam! Nice. We're going to cruise right through these guys. There's another one over here. Alright, let's get a little closer. Let's refresh our shield. Wing! And let's get him, George. Bam! Man, they swim fast. Bam! And one more. Oh, get him, George. Okay. All right, nicely done. What have we been getting there? Oh, we got a clam. Nice. And we'll do the uh, clam lottery again, see if we get a pearl after uh, killing all these uh, dagger spine guys. We'll see if we can get a pearl. I like playing the clam lottery. You know? Okay, all right, Terminkle. George, get off me, George. Bam. Yeah, he didn't have much of a chance, did he? All right, another clam for our lottery. So far we got a So far we got two uh, clams for a chance here. Okay, here's a sorceress. We need 3 of these. Ba bam. Quick, George, before she throws a lightning bolt on us. Ah, she missed. All right, she missed. Oh, what did we get there? We got some raw bristle whisker catfish. Okay. <laughs> he must be on... Oh, no, he's right there. Hey. Let's say he must be, be on that coral there, but he wasn't. Bam. Bam. And... Oh, we got a fingers. And Zorch. Nice. Oh, we got some silk cloth off him. Oh, put our shield back on. Okay, George, get that guy. Got a Zorch in there, Zorch. Get him, George. Looks like he was trying to, trying to swim up there. Okay, where'd he go? No, oh, we swam up. Oh, there we go. All right, another clam for our lottery. All right, let's see here. Oh, there's a guy up there. Get him. Oh, he's swimming away from us. He must know who he's dealing with. Just the mighty Turwinkle. Bam. Bam. Oh. And a bam and a Zorch. Nicely done. 558 on that. Great. Copper. We just need three more of those guys and two more sorceresses. This is. <laughs> All right, where are you guys hiding? There's one right there. Yeah, this water boon is really nice. Oh, shield. And one more. Bam. More copper. Do, do, do. Another guy over here. Oh, we got a... Bam, Zorch. Bam. Bam. Get him, George. Nice. One more of these guys, and then we just need uh, two uh, sorceresses. 
Let's get this guy, George. Bam. Bam. We got a Zorch. Bam, Zorch. Oh, George. Good job, George. Oh, what is... Let's see what we got there. We got a tower shield. Looks like a... <laughs> looks like a door with uh, some nails on it. <laughs> okay. I'll say so it shows that... The, oh, there's one right there. Wait, where'd, he go? where'd she go? Is she on the other side here? Let's see if we can sneak by that guy. Eh. Where... Is she in the boat? Where are you, sorceress? Just want to kill ya. Just want to kill ya. Are you on top of the boat? Aha. No? You're in the boat. Okay, let's see if we can find a way in the boat. Is there, ah, there's a big hole down here. Okay. Let's get this guy out of the way, George. And then we can go in there. So, bam. Oh, shield. Got it up just in time. And bam. He's swimming by me, George. <laughs> okay, oh, in that. Oh, up. George went in without me. Okay, there's there she is. Okay. And let's see if we can get this here quickly. Oh, no, we lost our... Lost our fingers because we were a little slow. There, we got another one, though. Nicely done, George. Nicely done. Some more silk cloth, and there's another one over here. Where is she at? She's above. Let's see here. Ah. There's another raider. Get him, George. Get him, George. Just in case, got to get our shield back up. Bam. Got our fingers here. Bam, Zorch. Nice. All right. Oh, there's one right here. George, ah! It's hard to see with George on my head. Bam. Bam. And one more. Oh, he rooted us. He rooted us, George. Which would be a very bad thing if you didn't have the boon being rooted. George, I cannot see around you. We got a short cutlass. Okay, it's junk, but hey, it's still junk. We could still sell it. All right, she's over here. Okay, uh, let's see if George will move. No. There we go. Now we can. Oh, of course he, <laughs> of course, moved right back on top of my head. All right, that's the last one. Let's go back to the uh, Captain Steel Gut. Can I go? Oh, I can. I can fit right through the window. And we're going the wrong way. Yeah, this way. This way, George. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and we got, let's see here, four clams for our little lottery here. We'll see if we win a pearl. So we'll do that when we get on shore here. Okay. Let's see if we win a pearl, George. So one out of four chances. Whop. Nope. Number two. Whop. Nope. <laughs> Number three? Well, nope, come on. Come on, number four. Give us a pearl, big pearl. And no. No pearl this time, George. It's all right. Head back to uh, Captain Steelgut and tell him we uh, killed the dagger spine Nagas, so get a little revenge for his ship being sunk. Might make his, might make his morning. Might make him happy, George. And that's really what we're all about, is making people happy. So let's set George over here. Whoop. So you're not getting in the way. Okay. You got my attention. Do I? Nice work out there, Turnwinkle. Those scum deserve what they got. While nothing will ever bring me ship or me crew back, the death of those Nagas gives me some solace. Oh, okay, see? So nice. 
So it says to pick up the spar for some change, which we will do. So we'll complete the quest. Watch your back. I will watch my back. And it looks like we are all done here. So, without further ado, we will take Glenn back to the camp, and we will see you folks when we get there. We discovered an area here called Boulder Gore. Let's take a look at the map here, and it's just right outside of Refuge Point. It's called Bol Boulder Gore, Boulder Fist Outpost, and Boulder Gore, and we can see that there's some ogres over here as well. Oh, right, one right there too. So we just happened to come across this as we're heading to uh, Refuge Point. So I thought we'd uh, pop in and and show it to you folks. Not much to it. it. Looks like they have a little cave over here. Some ogres. I wonder if we'll be heading in there. We probably will. We'll find out in a little bit. So we'll see you folks back at camp. And we're back in camp. So let us hop off Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. Did an excellent job, as always, sir. Yes, you did. You did a good job. All right. And, okay, George, you know where you need to go. I'll put you over here. You know, you like to go talk to the uh, griffin, so go talk to the griffin while I talk to uh, Skirito. Great to meet you. Well, great to meet you. Okay, the stone shards. I have scouted all over these highlands, Terwinkle, and there's one thing I found that I haven't been able to explain. To the northeast of here, there's a circle of stones, like the others you'll find everywhere in Arathi. But the largest and most imposing of them built in the mountainside itself. Just between you and me, I heard voices while I was there. Whispers of the Earth. If you're the curious type, you could go see for yourself. So our quest objective here is to investigate the shards of Myrazel. Okay, so we could do that. And we we are a curious type, sir. That's, that's why we're out in the world, is we are curious. And we're helpful, too, and good-looking, by the way, if, in case you didn't know. Which I'm sure you do know, because you're looking right at me. But let's go. <laughs> we'll accept that quest. See you soon. Okay. So <laughs> hey, what are you? All right, weirdo. <laughs> okay, so we'll close Save that. Uh, thank you, sir. And let's take a look at our map. And it looks like we're heading up there to the uh, north. So let's hop on Glen, and that should bring George to us. Yep, see, here he comes running. And we are going to let you folks come along with us because it looks like this is area that we haven't explored yet. So we'll head up north here. Try to stay out of trouble. Looks like the road... More like a, a uh, dirt path. Here. Okay. Dabbery's Farmstead. I don't know if I like that music. Oh, okay. They're, they're green. They're nice. They're nice. Hi, guys. Hi, folks. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. We're just going to cut through your field there uh, on Glen. Hello. Hi. Okay, so... Well, it looks like we're closing in on where we need to... Oh! Okay, let's try to go around the dinosaur here. Oh! There's another one down here. Try to scooch in between them. There we go. Alright. Oh, look at that. Look at that, George. Better put on our shield. Wing. Let's go see what that is, eh? It's a big black stone thing. Okay. The stone pulses softly and a whisper slowly echoes through your head. Help. Oh boy, help. Okay. Someone needs help, George. Did you hear that, George? Just me? 
All right. Yeah, I'm the only. Okay. The princess trapped. Oh, there's a. Okay. My name is my my Zurel. I'm a princess of the earth, and my captors, the giants, have trapped me deep beneath the Arathi Highlands. These crystal shards are the only way I can speak with the surface world. Please help me. Allies of the giants, the dar dry whisker kobolds, have a shard like this, one in their dry whisker gorge to the east. To power the cluster, you must gather motes of myrazel from the kobolds and apply them to it. I beg you, Turwinkle, help me. Oh, okay, well, she she wants help, If in case you can't hear her, George, uh, with kobolds, and I have to gather stuff from off the kobolds. Okay, and I imagine we have to kill the kobolds because they're not just going to give us the 12 motes of Myrazel. So that we get them off the dry whisker kobolds, George. Okay, so we'll also receive 25 silver. So let's accept that. Whoop. Take a look at the map here, see where we're headed. Okay, it looks like we are headed east. So let's hop on, hop on old Glen here. It looks like we're still open it, opening up new territory. So we'll let you folks in along for the ride here. It's not a, okay, that's not a, a rare. Keep your eye out for rares, George. Whoop, you want to go this way. Okay. Watch out for the... Oh, look at a bunny. Nice grasslands bunny there. Right in between these two, George. Okay, oh, there looks like there's a ford over here. But I believe that is a ford fort. We don't want to go near it. Well, let's see if we can sneak up on it. Maybe open it up. Hammerfall. Hammerfall. Okay, yeah, I think it's a... I think that is a horde fort, George, so we'll steer clear of that. It looks like we're closing in on the... Uh, what is it? Dry whisker kobolds? I don't see anyone there, actually. Do you see anyone, George? I don't see anyone. Okay. Oh, there's a... There's one right there, George. Let's hop off Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. And we will uh, go about gathering up these moats of Myrazel. Bam! Oh, shield. <laughs> okay. Now, ba bam him, George. Oh, he's running away. Get him, George. All right, we got him. Wing. Oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff there. We got a whoop. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Not the map. Our bags. We got a long bastard sword. Nice. Oh, someone's saying something to us. Let's take a look. Uh, it says, hey, do you know how to get to the cave? And let's reply to her. Uh, no. Not yet. If I find it, I will yell at you. Okay. And there's, a, there's one right there, George, so let's get him. Put our shield back on. Okay, take it easy, Turnwinkle. I didn't mean to rush you. And ba bam! Get him, George. Nice job, George. I don't think we got the. No, we did. He didn't have one on him. Oh boy, here we go. This is gonna be. This is gonna be one of those, George, where we kill eight million to get just twelve. Oh, there's one up there. Let's see if we can get up on the hill. Eh. Eh. Jump up there. Eh. All right. Okay. Oop. Okay, so... All right, we're close enough. Get him, George. Bam. 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 Oh, we got a... And a Zorch. Okay, we got him. 
Refresh our shield wing. And no, no peace. Okay, there's one down here. Let's see if we can get him, George. Bam. 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 Oh, and a Zorch. Nicely done, George. Oh, and there we go. Ten more... <laughs> Ten more boats to go. Is that one guy over there? Let's take a look. Eh. Definitely fighting through a lot of brush. Oh, see, she's doing the same quest we are. So, looks like there might be a way up here. Okay. I think this is the way. Let's see here. Yep. I found it. I wonder if she found the... I wonder if she found it. It looks like she did, because there's a lot of dead kobolds up here. Yeah, she must have found it. There's plenty of dead kobolds here, so let's go back. Oh, good. They're starting to pop again. So, let's get this one, George. Bam. 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 Bam, and a Zorch. Okay. Come on, crystal, crystal, crystal. No crystal. Okay. Shield back up. Eh, getting turned. George, you, you, George, you are messing me up. You're making me turn around when I don't want to. Okay, so while she's in the cave... Did you just see that, George? What was that? Oh, great. There's another person going up there. <laughs> well, we'll stay we'll stick out here in case nobody's hunting these guys out here. That means there'll be more for us out here, George, than in the cave. So it looks like everybody's uh going in the cave there. So we will hunt these guys out here and hopefully have better luck at uh getting some of the kobolds for ourselves. All right, kobolds, where are you? Oh, there's one over there. Let's get him, George. Bam. Bam, bam. Good job, George. You're doing really well. And a zorch. Shield back up. To keep reminding myself. Oh, good. Oh, there's another one right there. Yeah, see, let's we'll just zorch him. Nice. Bam. Bam. Nicely done. Okay, he just had... Well, he had silver on him. But that's pretty good. George, can you just scoot over just a little bit? <laughs> You're doing well, but... Jeez. I know I haven't seen you in a while. You don't have to cling on so tight. Bam. Bam. We got him. We got him. He was running away. Come on. Crystal. No. Nope. Dang. Only gotten three. This may take a while. Okay. Let's go back this way. Okay. Anybody over on this side? Let's see here. Do to do, do down here maybe. No, I don't see anyone. Well, we could go check outside the cave again. There, make they might have popped up already. To do, do. Oh, I think we lost the path here. Let's see if we can find the path again. Yeah, here we go. Whoop. <laughs> All right, make sure they haven't just waded through them all, and hopefully these ones outside the cave have popped again. And I don't see anyone yet. Nothing yet. Okay. Well, maybe we can go in the cave a little bit, eh, George? Let's see if we can see anybody that's uh, popped up. A lot of rats. Yeesh. And bones. Okay, that's not good. 
Oh, okay, there's a surveyor. Yeah, see, none of these guys have popped yet. Oh, and there's the, uh, where we turn in the shards here. Well, shoot. So nobody's popped on this side, George, so let's uh, head back outside. Fresh air. So I could only imagine a cave like that would be pretty, pretty dusty and and uh, have a very stale smell to it. Okay, so do do do. We'll go down here and find some more cobalts. Oh, there's one right below us here. Well, Mr. Cobalt, quit hiding. George, oh. Move right there, George, so I can see. Thank you. And George him. Nicely done. Get him, George. That's not going to be enough, George. He's George now. I have to run all the way down the hill. Oh, boy, he had a bunch of stuff on him. we got a stone war axe. And I think... Oh, we did get another moat. Good. Okay. Oh, follow me, George. I may have to just start doing that to you. Have you stand in one spot. Of course, I didn't like it when... <laughs> yeah, if I get attacked and I forget to call you, that, that wouldn't be good then either. Though, so... Help me find them, George. Where are they? In fact, folks, what we're going to do is from here, we're just going to go ahead and collect the, the uh, rest of them. If an interesting fight or we find a rare or something to that effect or, or pick up a neat item, I'll definitely come back. But uh, no sense in making you folks wade through the 5 million it looks like we're going to have to kill to get our 12. So if we do find a rare or come across a magic item that we picked up off one of the kobolds, we'll come back to you. And if not, we'll see you at 12. 12 motes of... M and right off the bat, the very next one we kill has a glimmering cloak on him. It's a plus 2 stamina, plus 5 spirit cloak. Ours is has more armor and has more intellect, so we'll be keeping ours. But this will be a nice L item to sell on the auction house. Excellent. Great. So we will be back uh, if we find something else of interest. All right. Well, we completed the quest. We got all 12 gems, turned it into the pulsing shard here, which looks like he's broken on the bottom, by the way. We'll close in here a little bit more again. We got all 12, and now he says, The four stones of binding are scattered throughout Arathi. These stones keep me pinned beneath the earth. To unlock them, you must unlock the strongest, the stone of inner binding, and to do that you must gather keys from the other three. These stones are watched by guardians, but if you're clever or lucky, you may find a ways you may find ways to banish them. Oh. Okay, so I am clever, sir. And I am rather lucky as well. And I should be able to gather those keys and free the trap princess. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hearth back to uh, the campsite back to Turnwinkle's tent. So we will see you folks when we get there. And we're here. Okay. Well, I think for today, after all that hunting, we may call it a day. So let's check our bag, shall we, and see what we got. We can go over to uh, Narge Deep Slice. Okay, George. Come over here, George. Let's put George over here. Let's grab this. Doo -doo -doo. George, go talk to the Griffin. Thank you, George. Talk to Deep Mr. Deep Slice here. I'm the finest words in the land. Oh, do you now? So let's sell the Stone War Axe. Whoop. The Long Bastard Sword. The Mutton Chop. The another Long Bastard Sword. The short cutlass. And we're going to sell Folly Spar because, again, 
both of our items combined make a better better intellect bus buff than this uh, two-handed staff. So we're going to sell that. Uh, we may keep the fish. That might be used for some recipes. And we'll keep the rest of that stuff. Move the glimmering cloak down for sailing in the auction house. We'll close this. And we'll be right back. All right, well, we cleared out our bags. We have some stuff that can go into the auction house, our wool cloth, our silk cloth, the three raw bristle whisker catfish, the glimmering cloak, and the four tangy clam meats can go in the auction house and hopefully make us some gold. George, come on over. You did a great job today, George. You got a lot of those guys, got the last hit on a lot of them. So good job, sir. We are going to call it a day today, folks. So we'll dismiss George. Bye, George. Thank you for your help again. And we're going to head back to our tent. Oh, there's someone in our tent. That is Chavez. Brewmaster Chavez, a level 29 dwarf warrior. Okay, we don't like people in our tent, but uh, be that as it may, it is a tent. So not everybody figures to be coming back. So, <laughs> so we will do our goodbyes out here. All right. Well, Turnwinkle, excellent job today, sir. We finished off at the Faldir's Cove. We went out and vert and journeyed and found the stone, it, it would ha which happens to be a princess trapped under the earth. And so we gathered up a bunch of moats from some dry whisker knolls, kobolds, and we now have to investigate Stones of Binding and collect some keys off of the guardians at these stones to get one big key to open the stone binding and set the prince free. So, without further ado, Turnwinkle, I guess we're going to call it a day. And excellent job, sir. Well, folks, if you like the episode, click like. If you'd like to comment on this episode or any other episode that we have on our channel, please do so below. Turwinkle loves to hear what you have to say, so please comment below. And if you'd like to join Team Turwinkle, subscribe today and join the team. Help Turwinkle get through his journeys on Azeroth and enjoy all the episodes as they come up into your mailbox free and clear of any charge Turwinkle might think to come up with. Isn't that right, Turwinkle? No. <laughs> okay. All right. So maybe he won't charge you. But All right. Well, Turwinkle, excellent job, sir. And we shall see you next time. I'll miss you. We'll miss you too, sir. Bye-bye.